Hey, this is Zach Log the Great. So, um, a few months ago I produced a video uh, titled uh, Why I Believe in Racial IQ Differences. Um, and this video has uh, been the most watched on my channel uh, by far. Um, and I noticed recently that um, half of the people who, um, who watch this video uh, stop uh, by a minute and a half. Um, apparently, uh, spending 10 minutes listening to someone explaining uh, an idea like this is far too long. Um, given uh, some of the discussion in the comments, it seems like these people still, uh, you know, this, some of these people still decide to uh, put their two cents in. Uh, despite not having spent 10 minutes to listen to what I'm saying, but um, so I uh, thought I would uh, produce an executive summary, uh, the uh, TLDR version. So here it goes. There are um, many uh, differences evident uh, between the races. Um, in the United States specifically, this uh, primarily shows up between blacks and whites, but um, if, you, if you watch how people behave, you can see it between others. Um, these differences uh, show up in both in terms of behavior and in terms of long-term life outcomes. Um, and um, you can find exceptions, but uh, in general, uh, the... Uh, when you're talking about one of these differences, uh, black people tend to be on the worst side of it, tend to come out the worst. Um, and here's the really important point. These differences are both significant and pervasive. Um, pretty much anywhere you find a society of white, uh, you know, a large community of white people, large community of black people, you're going to see some of these differences. Um, so. The sheer number and uh, ubiquity of these differences really demands a single uh, unifying theory to explain them. Uh, it, it's easy enough to come up with an explanation for this problem here and an isolated explanation for this problem here and, and you know, try to explain them one by one, but there are so many of them and they are so common that it really seems like, you know, it really seems like there should be one idea that explains them. Um, a, a series of disconnected individual uh, uh, explanations doesn't seem, doesn't seem sufficient. Now, there, I've heard basically two uh, possible theories so far. Uh, maybe there are others, but I've heard two possible theories that explain, um, that try to explain all of these. Uh, the first theory is that all of these differences and all of the problems that um, black people experience and, uh, you know, most people who aren't white, um, that all the problems these people experience are because of racist white people. Horrible racist white people have um, done all these horrible racist things to everyone else on the planet, and because of that, uh, you know, black people are experiencing all these problems today, and black people don't have, um, and black people don't have, uh, you know, significant wealth saved up, and, and are, uh, you know, committing these crimes, because all of this is because of racist white people, and that is it. That is the explanation, period. The other uh, theory I've heard is that there are um, differences in the average IQ uh, between the races. Now, this is average, which means that you know some some you know uh, you know portion of you know white people will be a lower IQ than uh, the average black person, and a portion of black people will have a higher average IQ than the average uh, white person. Well, we'll have a higher individual IQ than the average white person. Um, and um, 
if you, you know, particularly in complex modern societies, um, intelligence, um, IQ, is enormously important and can affect an unbelievable range of, you know, life outcomes. Okay. And um, that explains why, you know, some, why, um, you know, people of some races tend to do better than others. That's the second theory. Now, you know, like I said, there's two theories, and they both attempt to account for these facts. Um, and they both basically cover the whole field. Either of these explanations um, could cover the entire, um, the entire range of these differences. Uh, now, I happen to prefer uh, the IQ theory, uh, for one thing, because I believe there's more evidence. Um, but also, um, considering, like, as I said earlier, the, um, how widespread these differences are, and how, how large some of them are, how, how, how wide the gap is um, in the United States, for instance, between whites and blacks, uh, if all of this is because of oppressive white racism, virtually every white person would have to be in on it. Okay, I mean, now I'm I, I I'm a I'm a white man. I've I've uh, been a white man my entire life. It's been it's been a, a, a few decades. Um, I've never been in on one of these meetings where we're all planning how we're going to keep the black people down. I've, I've never heard that. I've never heard one white person say to another, how can we keep that black man over there from succeeding? Never once. I, now, I guess it's possible that these are going on all the time, and for some reason I'm just not a part of the meetings. No one thought to invite me. Um... And also my, uh, my other uh, big problem with the uh, horrible racist whitey uh, theory is um, it requires a villain. Um, it requires that you cast a particular group of people as horrible, evil, uh, deliberately malicious. And considering, as I said, the... the, the um, the size of these differences and how widespread they are. Uh, whoever you put in that role is not just bad, they are evil, okay? Um, they are irredeemable and should probably be wiped out. That's how bad that person would have to be. Now, I'd rather not put anyone in that kind of role. Uh, that, that seems like a bad idea for many reasons. But I particularly don't want to put my sons in that role. Or my parents. Or my wife. Or my brother and sister. I don't want to have people I care about cast in that kind of role. So, unless you can produce some incontrovertible evidence, um, not just vague theories and, and um, accusations, but clear evidence for uh, that theory, the theory that all the problems that uh, black people experience are because of racist whites, and that is it, well, the, um, the idea that there are differences in the average IQ between these groups seems to me the better explanation. It doesn't require anyone to hate anyone. It doesn't require a villain. It's just how things worked out. God be with you.